Hey, we're just a snippet of Squanch Games and we're here to talk about High on Life, our new action adventure comedy Metroidvania first person shooter that uh, is nothing at all, a little bit like Microsoft Excel. All right, you're a bounty hunter now. You gotta help me rescue my friends. They're Gatlians just like me. That's our game, High on Life. Pretty insane. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. Let's dive in. So Justin, you're typically known for working in animation. What brings you into the world of games? Why are you in the world of games? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm obsessed with games, have been my whole life. Always had ideas, always had, you know, things I would love to make, but just never thought I could ever step into that arena because I don't, I lack. I lack all the skills needed. <laughs> you don't know how other games than, work. Other than like creative uh, direction, creative ideas, like like other than that, I lack all the skills to execute. But that's why, like that's part of why you want to start Squanch, right? Is like to be able to have an idea like that and let it grow to something amazing. And, 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 and to be able to be, be creatively yeah. um, free. I wanted to make games that I wanted to play. And that was sort of the spark that just lit the fire of Squanch games and then we shipped Trover and we shipped Accounting Plus, and now we're on this absolutely dream game. This is like our real legit swing at like a proper, you know, like we're indie, but like this is like our triple A, like, yeah. or is it triple I for, like for indie? Yeah. We're triple I. Yeah, 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 this is a triple I game. So the story of our game mostly follows like Earth being invaded by this evil criminal cartel of aliens who come in and kidnap humans and start selling them on the black market like they're drugs. And you're the one human who has to team up with a talking gun and stop them. And when you select a, a cartel leader that you're gonna go after, like it opens the, the portal door <laughs> to that world that they're in. Eric, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the worlds of the game, the art style of the game, the visuals. Yeah, yeah. So we spent a lot of time kind of constructing and creating these awesome alien worlds. Uh, myself and uh, Mikey Spano, who is our art director, him and I worked like a ton on the sort of art direction of the game. He really kind of landed in this space, which was kind of Blade Runner meets the Muppets. <laughs> so we're trying to capture that feeling with all of our characters, especially our aliens. Uh, and then each world is its own kind of unique flavor, right? I think some of the ideas came from very kind of core thoughts. Like we were like, we want to have an awesome alien, like drug dense spa on an asteroid. And yeah, what makes me really excited is the sort of really clear and like, it's almost deceivingly simple narrative, right? Save the earth, human to drugs, talking guns. Ta-da. So Alec, what, you know, what, who are the guns? What's their deal? The guns are these talking alien Gatlians. Um, they, they're all shaped somewhat like a gun you'd find on Earth, but they've evolved to be just gun-like in their own way. And so uh, this race of Gatlians each has their own unique personality, their unique set of abilities, and you're going to be rescuing them from this evil alien cartel, and together you got to stop the bad guys. And get more Gatlians. Yeah, get more, collect more Gatlians. Yeah, a lot of players are gonna have very different experiences depending on what gun they favor. Yeah, you can kind of um, pick your favorite companion to have out a lot and hear their dialogue, yeah. be part that's of different reliable. different different uh, dialogue scenes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Look at us, blasting away! And sometimes you can unlock the guns in a different order than another player has. That's so when you right. go back through a level, you'll see things that you would have been able to access if you'd done it in the other order. That's you can so, come back. That's a yeah. huge one. All right, so we've talked about this crazy good game that sounds amazing. Why should people be excited to play it? As a studio, we are attempting to bring a-level adult comedy into video games. Something I love about Squanch is we would put a lot of effort into things that a lot of other studios wouldn't even bother with, like, like a single small joke that five players might find. Well, okay, well now, well now I sorta, now I can. I love that stuff. I, lo I love like edge casing and like, it's like, what makes you remember a game. Like, yeah, like, like if a player's trying to break the game in a certain way and then y you have an answer for that for them, that is like such a memorable and amazing uh, moment. It's almost like watching TV, but the viewer is able to reach into the TV and, and poke a thing, and the character has to respond to that. And there's so much fun to be had for the You can most skip part. it all. We worked really hard on it if you want to skip it. Yeah, if you want to just like miss out on like, you know, Yeah, if you're like a coolest... big dummy and you don't want to play the game at all, that's fine. <laughs> We're not going to judge you. We're just going to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 